rolling into the weekend, Carlene, hey, and rolling, rolling. rolling in warm. Yeah. Coming in hot. Yep. That's going to be the case. <laughs> talking about that inland heat. Yeah, here's the thing, though. You have to keep in mind, these temperatures we're talking about across the inland valleys, they're going to be actually near seasonal. But we got spoiled, and that was on the 4th of July. So to start off the week, we were talking about below seasonal temperatures. We had 60s and 70s for daytime highs right along the coast, and now we're getting back into that seasonal range. But the big impact is going to be across the mountains and the desert, going about 5 to 10 degrees above seasonal through next week. So for a high today, we had 109 degrees for Borrego Springs. You also had 80s across the mountains. 91 degrees was the high today for Ramona, 94 degrees for Campo, and also those 70s still along the coast. There's the marine layer waiting to move in. It's going to be shallow as we go through the next few days, nights and mornings. So something to be mindful of. That just means it's going to be mainly along the coast. So you're talking about the low clouds rolling in for the coast. But right now you're seeing sunshine for downtown. 70 degrees current temperature as well as winds out of the west northwest about six miles per hour. We're going to have the surf up to about three feet and a low risk of rip currents at our local beaches. That will carry on all the way through Sunday and that UV index will stay in the extreme range. Continuing uh, the conversation about our forecast, we will have an area of high pressure that is going to be over us. That's going to be our main weather maker all the way through next week. So a trough of low pressure is going to get nudged out. It's going to move towards the north as this area of high pressure expands across the southwest and that is going to tap, in, tap into a lot of heat. Inland temperatures as I mentioned for the mountains and desert 5 to 10 degrees above seasonal, but most of our highs are going to be near seasonal for the inland areas west of the mountains. And then you're tapping into some monsoonal moisture. Subtropical high will start to have that moisture closer towards us, so wrapping around this area of high pressure with that count, or excuse me, that clockwise circulation, bringing in that humidity, and then also the chance we could see some showers and thunderstorms. You're looking at some uh, 70s for the coast, as well as the inland valleys, and then temperatures starting to back off a little bit more. Showers and thunderstorms will favor the mountains. That's going to be by Wednesday all the way through Friday of next week.